Right, welcome back to what is effectively part four of this series where Steve Bauer has first of all undertaken a custom fit process which has led to today. Mm. It's real time now, we've got yeah. clubs in hand and we need to score. We're going to play a nine hole scramble here at Carden Park. We're going to play it off scratch, so no shots, but just as a reminder, Steve currently playing off 15, me off nine, but I want to see what we can go around of two balls, four shots each off the tee that we must get in, and then we've got one that floats, and we've got full set of Callaway Paradigms in the bag. I'll get some feedback on how you think they've performed along the way, and no doubt you can let us know as well. Right, so a fairly short par four, Steve, 285. Right. Um, I'm gonna go with my, my Heavenwood. Okay, so what I'm, do you want me to do, Skipper? Well, do you want me to go first? What would you rather? Yeah, you go. You go first. Lead the way. If you've got driver in hand, let's see where. Let's see if I can get this one into some sort of position. Okay. And then over to you with the big dog. Is this a good time to mention we're unbeaten in pairs goal? Well, we can't get beat today. No. I just thought I'd put it out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I just. I mean, what I love about this thing is the launch on it is ridiculous. That's well, a real steady I, start. I go as far as to say that's position A, mate. Yeah. So, yeah, you can now let loose with the um, with your new driver. And my new driver, which I'm having a love in with, to be fair, which is no surprise. Yeah, nice shot. That's not a bad start. We're away. We're out. So don't forget quite scramble. Up the middle, but we'll get there. For those who don't know the real scramble, we are going to pick the best ball from the two and uh, play our next shot from there. Let's see if we've got 120 in and a good angle, really, from your ball we're taking. Let's see if For those of you keeping a record, this is Steve's drive. That's nice. Nice. Oh, it's very nice. That looks to be pin high. Great stuff. Well done. What did you play just out of interest? Just a little uh, pitching wedge. Pitching wedge, but yeah. That's even, even the custom fits made a difference to my, my swing on that club. So. Go on. Needs a kick, Steve. I think mine's bunkered, is it? Oh, no. That's, That's okay. It's okay, but I think yours is really good. Right, let's see if we can get off to a birdie start. It was a great wedge in. This green slopes from front to back, so it's very hard to uh, get it to stop, so you've, you've done well there. Oh, you had the line as well. You had the line, great effort. Just stick some kind of marker on it, please, yeah. bud, and then... Yeah, it's really difficult first put of the day, isn't it? Just getting the yeah. pace. Well, at least you can have a go with your man of your putting caliber. Oh, I did the opposite, but right, right through the break there. Do you want to just finish that one off? Don't do that to me on camera. <laughs> I'll leave the flag in. So for a par start. Yeah, well done, well done. That was all your shots, by the way. <laughs> Use your drive, your wedge, your two putts. Well, there you go. Time to live it up, man. on camera, normally him. So we're gonna keep the same order. Am I going first, yeah? Yes. So we've got 140 yards, par, obviously par three. We've got off to a par start. This one gathers into a bit of a basin, if you can get it on the, um, well, pretty much in that sort of 10 or 15 yard radius, then it's going to gather into the flag. That's my thought process anyway. It's putting the bin lid to take the pressure off me. There you go. Oh, I'm just going to carry it too far, you know. That's stayed on the top tier. I mean, we're on the green, but that's an horrendous putt from up there, you know. Not for a man of uh, your putting skills. The biggest problem I've got, and I'm going to get the excuses in early, mm. I better move this shot tree. So the problem is we've got a left-hander. 
they would tease it up on the opposite side. <laughs> so um, the problem I've got is that obviously I don't normally play these irons. I've got the Paradigm X irons in the bag and I've got no real idea of quite how far I hit them and clearly I got the yardage wrong there because that's traveled a little bit further. So that would have been a 180, uh, 158 iron. Right, come on bud. I pulled it. It's a pull, it's a nice shot, mate. I think it's a better yardage than mine, but unfortunately. Pin eye. Yeah, we're right on. We're on the top tier. That is one difficult two pull we've got coming up. Right, okay. okay. This is an interesting one. It's no easy two pull, mate. We've been a little bit unlucky, both of our tee shots, but um, off the left. Yeah, just got to roll down, yeah? Yeah, I think. I, if it's, we want to get it past the hole, but obviously not too far past. I like that. Corn ball. Oh, it's a great shot. Oh. Take that from there. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm happy with it. I just cannot believe there's a little bit more moisture on the ground after quite a bit of rain. Otherwise, I think that would have been, I was expecting that to be past the hole. So I went perhaps a little bit too wide as well, Steve. Okay. It's maybe a little bit straighter than you think. Come on, ball. Come on, ball. Gather some pace. I had the better line. They're both really good putts, to be fair, and uh, I think you'd be happy with them from up there. I'll just put a marker down just in case. Oh. The average golfer does not miss these. See, told you. I'm glad you didn't have to eat your words. Right, that's two pars to start, <laughs> just the warm up holes, but don't forget, no shots given. We're playing gross scores here. And uh, I think we're happy with the start. Yeah, steady start, steady away. Right, so we just skipped the hole in that, uh, it was a little bit busy there. So to continue filming, we're on the fifth, 373 yards. Stroke index 10. Just a reminder of the custom fit, Steve, you've got uh, obviously Paradigm driver. Happy yep. with it so far? Really enjoying it, yeah. Um, ball flight, forgiveness, yeah, and obviously distance. I had a yep. message off one of your friends yesterday who said you took a bit of money and it was going a bit further than your other one. Yeah. So I'm in, I've got a Paradigm driver. Uh, interestingly enough, I've got a shaft that I used to have in, a, uh, in an older club from Callaway, which is one inch shorter, just trying to get a, uh, a little bit of control. And control you have. Wow, do you know what interests me always when I pick up Paradigm? That was in the air a long time, wasn't it? So was your pose. I know. <laughs> it was, to be fair. You can tell he likes it when he poses. That's beautiful. So that takes the pressure off me. But interesting enough, same thing. You went one inch shorter in the shaft, didn't you? In, the, yeah. in a custom fit. Yeah, I think it's helping me. But... I think control is massive with this big stick and I'm not sure we lose out a great deal. I love this driver. Yeah. I really do. I'm not just saying that. It's uh, it's made a difference. Yeah, good ball. Good ball. Right, Steve, 136. Another green that kind of it's a difficult one because it always, I think the pin is near the front and the, the green runs away from front to back again, so. Good news is this is your range. It's your favorite range. Told you, partner. Love that. Love it. I held the pose for a little while there as oh, yeah. well, so. Fully deserved there was, there, was a, there was a giveaway. Fully deserved. So with the irons, you're into Paradigm, Paradigm irons, um, but we added two degrees of loft, didn't we? Yeah. On each of the irons. Um, the irons are taking a little more patience than the driver in the woods, but that's to be expected because yeah. that, was, that was a stronger part of my game, so. So what you're saying is, and we'll talk about the other clubs that Steve ended up in the bag with, hopefully get to use all of them throughout this nine holes, but you've really loved driver, five iron, oh, let him play a shot. 
Oh, nice. Really nice. Sit down. What golf shot, mate, that is. Fantastic. I'm posing there. They're the irons that he doesn't, uh, he's took a while to get used to. <laughs> what I was going to say, well, he's got five wood, uh, longest iron is a five iron, mm. and then we've got a hybrid in between. I think it's fair to say driver, five wood, hybrid, you actually love straight Bingo. off the bat. Bingo. And what you're saying is you're just taking a little bit longer to get used to on the Paradigm irons. Yes, but that's because I was a stronger iron player than I was okay. with my woods. So yeah. I knew the woods would make an instant difference, Impact. and I've made a massive difference. Yeah. The irons are obviously different feel, different loft. Yeah. But I'm getting to doing it, yeah. Good, good stuff. Don't forget, if you want to go back to episode one of all this, which is the start off of the process, then uh, we'll put a, uh, a link in the description below. It's a really interesting journey for me. I've watched it all. So from the, the custom fit of the irons, um, then we went into the long end of the bag and that gap in session. Then we did the unboxing video, which was nice just to get them out first time on a course. But this is actually trying to make them work today. So, well, we're doing all right so far. Yeah, not too bad. Nice to have a choice. We go with yours. I think so. I think yours is more straight up. I mean, the interesting thing is there, I mean, I said, uh, I think I did anyway, b before we played that shot, that it's very much a sloping front to back, and that front pin is almost impossible to get to. You've got to land it off the green. Um, I think this is, can be a tough hole, so if we can two put from here, keep this par run going. This is tricky. Uphill. I notice you're still all Callaway in. You've got Odyssey 2 ball as well. Yeah, I've always been an Odyssey putter man as well. Come on, let's see if we can get one rolling in. Gone for it. Hit it. Great, good roll, good first attempt. Wasn't going to be short for you there, partner. No, it's good effort. So it just came off the right, didn't it? Yes. Yeah. I've got to say, the greens... Uh, I was just about to say the same thing. Looks superb. Beautiful. Go on. That's a lovely putt. You don't knock that one in. Ah. About here, I thought we had a bit of a chance. There is a birdie coming. I can it just feel it. Started to, just started to die off. I'll do the same again. I won't be ultra... Uh, I'll be a little bit cautious. I'll put a mark down. Yeah. Never in doubt. Yeah, no, it was a good four, I mean, to be fair. Solid as a rock. Fairway and green and reg and a two put. Happy with that. Yeah. Right then, Skipper, what's the tactics here? Well, we've got a bit of a debate, because this is a whole... Uh... So, 236 to the flag. So that means about a, a, a... It's on the lower tier, so it's about a 220, maybe 225 carry. That's my kind of... That's on my... You I can do that. Do you know what I think we should do? Go on. I think I should go first and yeah. try and put one on the fairway. Go on then. And then you let if me. If you're there, we'll have a pop, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm good for that. Is that good teamwork? Yeah. Right, come on, mate. Get one in position A and then I'm going to have a pop. Great golf hole. Yeah, that's solid. See, that's where that ball has just flown off, hasn't it? Yeah. So that's safe as houses there. That's, it's, well, it's a good angle in, to be fair. Yeah. Go on. Go on. Oh. Oh, my word. Mate, that's not far from the flag. No. That's, I didn't quite get all of that. I mean, again, that's... Seriously, when I when I hit it, unless it's, it's a, a paradigm driver, it's nothing to do with the golfer. There's a bit of a muted sound that comes off them though, and I never feel like it's really gone. That's a superb shot. We've got, I reckon we've got 10 foot for eagle, you know. Take that. <laughs> well, well, well. Do you, know, do you know the best thing is? I've just been complaining to Anna because if it wasn't so damp overnight, we'd have, on. We'd have been. Yeah, but hey, listen, you're getting greedy, greedy there. Exactly. You're getting greedy. So tremendous. I mean, it makes a big difference to the scorecard, mate. If we could roll one of these in, let's see if I can at least get it to, to you know, a sort of gimme birdie. But we need a roll at this off the left. Yeah. 
Get in. Get in. Oh, my word. What a great putt, Andrew. Oh, my word. That's... What a great putt. Uh, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Genuinely you thought this that... one on your own? Come on, mate. So it is only off the... You see mine just died at the end. Lightly, yeah. Keep it on that left-hand side for as long as you can. Roll out. Roll out. Oh, that is absolutely painstaking though, isn't it? That's quite quite frustrating. I won't even mark that one. Well, it's a good birdie. A great roll. Three. Well done. What under. Superb from you, to be fair, partner. Thought I had that. Bye, Steve. Next up, so on the back of a birdie, mm -hmm. uh, we're a little concerned about getting these uh, holes in, but we switched over to the 14th, 287, stroke index 15. Again, it's short par four, but it's really fiddly because a lot of bunkers, water down the left-hand side. Mm. I mean, to be honest with you, I wouldn't ordinarily go driver, but as there's two of us, I'm going to go as long as I can down the left-hand side. Okay. Hopefully, with a little bit of left to right. Anything like that last one would be magnificent. Oh, he always listens to your teammate. That's what I love about you the most. See, it's a long pose again. I'm Likes really, it. do you know what I'm really loving? I, 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 I've done loads of videos on it, it's just this shorter shaft in driver because um, that ability, the, the greater control, I've been playing mini driver for the last few weeks, which I've been loving. You know that in my standard driver stealth, I always play one and shorter, same in this, and I just think it's such a big bonus. Pressure's off now. Position you're in. Yeah, take your time. It's a worker. That's, that's fine, nothing wrong with that. It might be a better angle than mine, to be honest with you. Right, right Steve, I think um, we take your drive. Okay, you see, now, can I just say, that is the forgiveness of a Paradigm driver. Uh, well, my, my, it wasn't your best strike, was it? No, but look where it ended yeah. up. And my, my old one would have been, that's, that's one of many features that I'm really pleased with. Yeah, no, I agree with you there. I mean, we, the other, we've got 93 in. Right. Pins right at the front, and we've got, the bunkers in theory shouldn't come into play whereas mine's down there we've got a bit of an angle so okay. now this does give me an opportunity to practice with the a wedge which uh, is a new addition to my bag what did we say 49 49 degrees 49 degrees so i'm still sort of trying this out but i've got every confidence in my partner being in within about three foot of a pin. So. Brilliant, you've managed to switch the onus onto me and you haven't even hit a shot yet. Correct. Fantastic. <laughs> this could be the last shot of the day. Oh, that's, that's magnificent. That is superb, sit down ball. There we go. That's tremendous, mate. Welcome to the A wedge from the Paradin range. Well done, mate, that's fantastic. Anywhere get inside my ball and the flag would be great. Then, he says. <laughs> Use the rain to put your spin on it. Go on. You've done it as well. Oh, listen to your partner. Come on, wow, come on, Steve. We're on a roll here. Well, we have just had a bit of a rain delay, to say the least, and a bit of a downpour, but there's not a lot to split them, Steve, but I think... No, uphill with yours. We're, we're not bad there at all. We like those two. Yeah, really pleased. But don't forget, there's a chance to go back to back as well, and... Uh, what are you saying? There's not a lot in that, is there? No. No? No, I don't think so. Let's just see if I can keep this putter face square and just go right at the middle. Come on. Yes! Didn't look like I was going to fall in, did it? I'll do it. it. That's great. So we've gone there. So that's driver, A wedge, and uh, all I had to do was roll in the pot, mate. Yeah, by the time you came in on that yeah. one. <laughs>
Right, so 341 yards. That's not that's not too far, but it's stroke index one for a reason because there's a kind of brook that runs in um, pretty much right through the fairway, doesn't it? Yeah, it's a rascal. I think there's it, yeah. uh, no other way to describe this it, hole. It gets really narrow up top. It's a great golf hole. And the problem is you can't really lay up, otherwise you leave yourself too much of a long yeah. shot into a well-guarded green. And there's only a postage stamp. There's not much to aim at there's that no, green. No. Right, come on. Oh yes. Like that partner. Yeah, I'm happy with that. It was a little bit cautious. I think I've definitely cut it a bit too much away from the water. I've left us a I would say you'd be getting a bit more greedy and try and get tight to the left hand side. Okay. Mine is safe but leaves a long second. Yeah, I think if we want to have a a chance of an easy shot, or not an easy shot, a realistic shot in, then you need to be tight to the left. Oh my word, Stevie boy, I was going to say him for the 150 mark, I think you've landed on it. That's nearly it, that's perfect. Okay. Well done. Super. Happy with that, bud. Very good. Isn't it funny how we get competitive and there's absolutely nothing on it? <laughs> well, there's two reasons to say your ball one because it's in a good position anyway but the second is this gives us three drives each Steve yeah but kind of takes a bit of pressure off in terms of leaving oh, it too late to get the shots in okay I was after that try anywhere on or near that dance floor yeah just need a bounce and again and again and again oh Stevie could be a trick of birdies here, mate. Tremendous. What did you hit, by the way? Seven iron. Seven iron. Well, well and truly taking the pressure off there, Steve. Stroke index one, and we've got a, I think we've got a 10 footer. Yes. Come left. It's just drifting a tad. Nice shot. Play. I'll take that, but I think you've got it, mate. Yep, I'm nice happy shot. with that. Two greens in reg on stroke one. Come on, we're in a bit of a root groove. I'll tell you what, Steve, you'd take them. I can't believe I built this up as stroke one. And All day long, you'd take them. Oh, just a quick opportunity to talk about the fact that these, don't forget I'm using Paradigm X irons. And the big criticism is of these type of game improvement style lines is often the fact that they stop on greens and perhaps we're a little bit damp right now but if you see where the pitch mark was repaired and where the ball has stopped the reason the ball does that is because of the descent angle on these things so they launch extremely high and obviously come down at a towering kind of height and then stop up fairly quick so that's a seven iron we got that down 155 we were playing from and uh, from a paradigm x a super game improvement iron so it often dispels myths when you come out on the course and see what happens in reality with these things anyway we need a birdie which one are we going for because there's not a lot in them do you want to go up uphill or have a look at yours see what you think i mean definitely uphill but is there a lot of break in it or it's not straightforward no but not i i think i think this do you skip his words final yeah, I think go with that. I okay. think, like you say, the fact that we can have a bit of a bolder roll with it. I'm coming over a bit of a crest. And I'm a bit further away as well, so. Right. Come on, mate, a birdie, a hat trick of birdies. We're on a roll well, here. You, you know me, I don't normally hold these, so. Come on. I'll see what I can do. What do you think in terms of. I, I, off the right, yeah? Yes, yeah, slightly, yeah. I've yeah. got it. Yeah. It's uphill, so it's going to need a little bit. A bit of, bit of rain on the top of these greens now. All right, let's see if we can just roll this up. Oh, Get the flag. Ooh. Oh, and it did. Unlucky. But, Unlucky. Right. Apart from a bit of pace, it was, uh, it yeah. was the line, wasn't it? Just mark that up, Steve. Yeah. I'm just thinking, I mean, obviously yours broke a little, but had a fair bit of pace. I think yeah. I need to be a bit wider, don't I? Not as hard. 
Yeah, not as hard and a bit wider. Come on, come on. Oh, great putt, my friend. Ah, do you know what? Stroke one, mate. Great putt. Stroke right. one, and again, a Let's relatively. Take a four on the tee all four, day long. Four. All well, day well. long. We continue two under with, uh, what's that? Three to go. Three to go. Do I not like that? <laughs> 109 with a positive, uh, do I not like that? Go on, mate, lead the way. I'll, I'll go on camera. Come Actually, on, don't forget, we've got two under, we've got three to go. A 109, we should have a birdie chance here, mate. I'm gonna try a little, little off the ground number. Come just round. Kick on, just kick on, first bounce. No. It's okay, it was a nice swing. Scared of it. Oh, I don't know, it was good. That's rubbish. Wasn't far off. I must admit, it's a bit, indi a bit of uh, indecision on club myself. Yeah. It's right in between. I didn't want to commit to mine, so make sure. Well, I'm going the opposite. This needs hitting. I've just got to be careful that hit doesn't become a pull because, the, as you know, there's a pond on the left. Yeah. Kick right, kick right. Nice oh. shot. Yeah, I think that's, that's good, you know. Yep, I like that. I'll take that. Well done. My issue was I played a 52 wedge and I thought I'd have to, I'm not sure yeah. I'd have got there. I must there. admit, I was only just off the green there. I was being yeah, a bit good. hard on myself, but still. It's a little bit further than we'd want to be, but yeah. again, quite a, quite a big break. Yeah, downhill. I'll certainly see if I can get this to within gimme distance and then you can have a free roll of this. Like it. Love Come that on. plan. Turn, turn. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> that on. is Sullivan Gold. I can retire that putter. Oh my days. Get in. Wow. Yeah, didn't they need to bring this every other hole. I'll tell you what, mate, three under. I'm not, uh, I, we've well done well there. That's without using any handicap. That's three under gross. I'll contribute to the next hole. Delighted. Right, come on, Steve. We've got uh, 317. There is an opportunity some days if it's a bit down breeze to go for this one across the angle. It's a great golf hole. But for us, we're now in, we're now in a mode here where we just want yeah. to get this uh, job done with yeah. three under. Yeah, two to play. Not just keep in the zone. Two to play. Oh, that's your best of the day. That carries the bunker, which it's flown past the bunker. What a golf shot. You held that pose there, mate. Well, I'm trying to compete with you on the pose. That was superb. Right, Posey I'm gonna, partners. I'm going to be a little bit greedier than I think and yeah, try yeah. and go that was the idea. tight as we can down that. That was the tactics. This could be a ball in the water, but we'll... Uh, Awesome. What a drive. Tell you what, this to be fair, this this club head coupled with that shaft. Yeah. I have It suits you. You're not allowed to talk about yourself too much, but I don't think I missed the fairway. <laughs> I just did talk about myself. Didn't I? <laughs> We've gone with Steve's drive there. There wasn't a great deal to split them at all in terms of distance. I was tighter down the water, but based on where we are with drives, this would give us four each. Yeah. You're 95 in, mate. Just give us another chance of birdie. They're getting greedy now. We are. Don't forget, we've got a par five on the last as well, so we can get somewhere in and around this. Oh my lord, he's put it right on top of it. Come on, ball. Off. Tremendous shot, mate. Fantastic. Thank you. Well done. It's the A wedge again. You're loving that, aren't you? I think the again. A wedge is A1. But you've said it off camera. Maybe a point to mention, Steve, is the fact I better drop that, hadn't I, and keep all things official. Um, off camera, you said how much you don't like that kind yeah. of yardage. No, that's a this distance and this yardage 
was always in my head. Didn't yeah. like it. But you're liking now, that. Now suddenly this club has taken that negativity away. But what I'm noticing is as well, from a number of yardages, you're hitting the same wedge and getting like just familiar with that wedge. Yeah, just practicing. Right, shut up, Hans. Let's see if we can get a... Again, get inside. That is the... Go on. Is it enough? Lovely. Ah, so somewhere in between the two of them, wasn't it? I'm a tad short. You're a tad long, but you've got to be happy with them. You'll be, you'll be happy with two on the dance floor. Yeah. Shame that, isn't it? Because we were kind of almost equidistant past. Yeah, but I fancy uh, the uphill put like you. Yeah, this you probably said. got us a better option. Yeah. What are you seeing? Off the left? Yeah. Undulation. You're getting the pace up the hill as well, isn't it? That's the key, isn't it? Yeah. I have it, Steve. Poor effort. Mm. Poor effort, well, and if anything, it drifted off to the right. And to be fair, there's not been many poor efforts from you today, so. Do you know what, when you get up here, that's definitely falling a bit towards me. Really? That's yeah. interesting. It's superb, Nick. Yeah, it's definitely a bit more uphill than, uh, than I'd allowed for. Yeah, it's a much better pace. Get up there, get up there. Great roll. Well done, just finish it off. <sighs> Good effort, mate. That was going as well, wasn't I it? Oh yeah. Still will take four, mate. Well done. Good two put. Right, it was an outside opportunity for birdie. It's on to the last, it's a par five and a chance to finish with uh, another birdie in the bag. Right, last goal of the day, it's a par five and it's only 456 yards off the yellows, but to be honest with you, it's all about sort of, um, well, positioning off the tee that allows you to play a second shot in and then ultimately probably a third into the green. That's the hope. So it's just about getting the right position. We want to be sort of as tight to the right hand bunkers as we can without going further right because that would give us a bit of a problem. Right, come on and. It's got to carry them. It's got to carry them. Well, we're okay, but I'm not in a good position. That's the first one I actually tried to force a little bit. Okay. Put a bit of pressure on you there, Steve. I thought I'd step up to the plate and try and take the pressure off. I've done the opposite. As one Premier League player said to me this season, pressure is a privilege. Come on, mate. Let's see. Okay. Oh, mate, that's much better. That's the line we want to be on. Gives us an angle in. Yeah. Take it. Ste steps up, mate, and does the, does the business. <laughs> Right, Steve, we're going with your ball on the base and we've got a good angle in, so it's just a case of trying to, if you can get one down the middle of the, well, just between the two trees. Okay. Should leave us a wedge in. Nice. That's going to work. That's going to work. If it gets over that path, we haven't got a lot left in, right? So over we've got a path. short wedge. Yeah. So I need to, well, anything better than that, but I mean, to be honest with you, that's, uh, that's good, Nick. At least I've got a bit of a rip with it and no real worries about what happens. <laughs> I love a birdie finish, so let's see if we can get something up there. Oh, that's glorious. It's a Stay bit there. tight, yeah, it's a bit tight down the right. Oh no, it's through. That's oh, fine. That's glorious. That's fine. Well played, partner. Right, Steve, what did I just say? 80? 80. 80, but uphill. Yeah. It's one of them ones, you don't want to be too greedy because there's a bunker that's right in front. We've got to get a birdie chance. Come on, and Surely. Oh, and that's terrible. Oh, Did my I... word. Sorry, Steve, that's back on the pressure to you, mate. Pressure's the a... A wedge. Pressure's a privilege. Pressure is a privilege. 
come on. I've gone to pieces, mate. Let's see if you can keep it together and stick one somewhere on that dance floor. Because I'm definitely long. Oh, mate, it's the A wedge. Sit down. That's also a little bit long, but a lot better than mine, mate. Well played. Well, Steve, we've left a lot of work here, mate. It's yeah. certainly no birdie opportunity, so. No. But we can't have our first bogey of the day, mate. This needs to be a two put. Okay, skip up. I mean, downhill. Pace, yeah, I was going to say it's pace and break, which. Downhill. Come on now, turn ball, turn ball. That's a perfect pace, mate. Do you know what? I'll be honest with you, I thought that was spot I on. I cannot believe that hasn't turned. Like. Pace though, really good. Yeah, it's a great effort. It's a great effort, but I'd prefer one just a little bit closer. <laughs> it's a knee trembler. That's a, that's a knee knocker. In Andy, I trust. Like that. I like that. Oh my days. Oh no! I thought that was in. How was that not gone in? It, it went, went over the, the hole. hole. It was a brilliant golf shot. Brilliant golf shot. Oh, do you know what? It's, it's always a thing with that, isn't it? I'm more than happy oh. with where it's finished off, but I'm gutted that that hasn't gone in. Don't make me put here, please. <laughs> Whatever you do. He never misses those. Oh, never, Steve. ever. Oh, Particularly mate. when he's playing with me. Well played, Thank you, my friend. great effort. I think it would have been a bit too greedy getting a uh, birdie on the last yeah. there, but um, all told, the whole idea of this experiment from start to finish was about getting uh, the process of custom fit and did it do you any good. I'll finish off with your final analysis of the whole process and are you happy with what you've ended up with? I'm absolutely delighted. I love the clubs. Like I've said before on previous episodes, the woods were a no-brainer, the driver, the fairway woods, the utility, because that was my weakest part of my game. You've seen the A-Wedge uh, help me sort yeah. of 80, 90, 100 in. And the irons are coming with practice. The extra loft is helping uh, get get on the green. So I would recommend oh, no. anyone to do it. And I'd certainly recommend these clubs because uh, You've been happy. I am happy, yeah. I must admit as well, I've played obviously not my normal bag, full bag of paradigm again today. And uh, I've, I really enjoyed it. I've played well. I think, again, that's kind of greens and fairways and regulation, all that kind of thing. Couldn't be happier with what we've done. Great performance as well. Like I said, it's been a bit stop start. We got a good half an hour rain delay, uh, three under through nine holes uh, and a gross score between a 15 and a nine handicapper. Ain't too bad. So uh, let me know what you thought of today's video on this whole uh, sort of series of four episodes. No doubt you will. And uh, that's us done. I will probably see you all tomorrow night. Thanks for watching.